Buffalo Sports presents advantage of course still remains with Tommy Hearns and Ray Leonard and I were talking earlier that he may have the longest reach in ring history uh, that 78 inches would be hard to beat and of course he is very broad shouldered and he uses the reach well it's been a, a gift that he has had and he has used that gift well with a very powerful jab Arthur Mercanti is the referee the scoring is on the 10 point must system under WBC rule 12 rounds the distance Tony Perez of New York, Eva Shane of Fort Lee, New Jersey, Dickie Cole of Dallas are the judges at ringside. Hutchings and White, champion Hearns in goal. Now, will Hearns try to come out and get Hutchings out of there early as he did against Duran? Will he be determined to show that the hit man was back for more than just one bout? I see a mistake already from Fred Hutchings, Tim, and that's the jab, the left jab of Fred Hutchings. He, he brings it back too slowly. He's dropping that left jab, so look for the right hand. No right hand by Thomas Hearns. Uh, Tim, H Hutchings also looks very, very tight right now. If you get nailed when you're tight, Tim, it's going to be tight. And, and Tommy is very, very relaxed in here. Well, I think most of the prognosis uh, was that if uh, Hearns was going to stop Hutchings, he would do it early. And there's a solid left landed by the champion. But that if Hutchings got by the first two or three rounds, it's going to be a very interesting fight, but he's wobbled already. Hearns is after him, and he's got him in trouble. Hutchings trying to survive. And he did a good job of escaping there, Ray. But she should hold on and, well, at this point now, should move and clear the head. Because Tom is going to throw a, just a barrage of punches once he gets his man hurt. Tim, but Hutchings is reaching for Hearns. He's walking into Hearns. It's the worst thing he can do. Hutchings still wobbly. But now finally getting a clinch around Thomas Hearns. As Ray Leonard suggested, he should have done immediately. But he did escape with the worst damage after the first combination that wobbled him. He's reaching in with that jab, Tim. Watch for the right hand because Tommy Harris should, tap, should count that uh, left jab. Hutchings' eyes are a little more clear now. Looks like he's got himself back together, but he's still very much a target. For Hearns, there's a solid left hook landed by the champion. Wide open for a right hand. Hutchings is wide open for a right hand, Tim. He reaches in with that left jab. There it is again. Hutchings trained by Noah Cruz, who had the champion Carlos Palomino. Just been with him the last month. Under a minute to go in the first round with the champion having staggered the challenger Hutchings, but he stayed on his feet. Can we mention that Hutchings' height might bother Hearns? It's the other way around. Hearns' height is bothering Hutchings. Big Hutchings right comes out on a big right hand. Hutchings in difficulty again. Hutchings does not have the experience. He's not been in the calorie fight. The right hand, and hit. down he goes. The first knockdown, a right hand. Sending Hutchings, who was backing up as he was hit. Under 30 seconds to go. Tim, here's where the second phrase at the bell rings so he can get his fighter back to straighten him out. Tommy has to get him out of here. He's got 20 seconds to do it. Hearns pounding away. And with the mouthpiece out, his, his lip is cut now, Tim. He's in bad shape. An overhand right sending Hutchings down for the second time. Tim, there's seven seconds left. He may make it. Five seconds. I don't think so. I don't think he's going to survive this round. And a bell should ring. And there it does. Bell. Hi, I'm Chili Dilly, the personality pickle. Packed in a jar for the freshest flavor. Served cold in a sack for you to savor. So dainty to eat, no muss, no fuss. An ideal snack for all of us. Crisp, tender, and tasty with a bit of spice. Buy one now. Taste how nice. Snack bar clerks will knock themselves silly. 
speeding your order for a real chilly dilly. The air has been through a difficult first round. The air, it's funny because the areas that they figured that uh, Hutch, I mean, Hearns would be uh, susceptible to counter punching. Hutchings has fallen prey to those uh, same mistakes. That's right. Hutchings is doing all the leading. He should be patient. There, there he is leading again. Every time he, he leads, he leans in. He has a world title bout, no doubt. It's affected the start of the uh, performance by Hutchings today. And it's an amazing thing. In the gym, all he was doing was waiting and fainting and looking to count the punch. As soon as the fight starts, he forgot everything he worked on in the gym. Well, he, well Hutchins also is straight up, but also he's given away a couple of inches. Well, inches so in height because he's too big down. There he reached in again. Tom at this point is going to pick his shot. Big left hook. He's nice and relaxed, Terrence. And the left hook has been a very effective thrown by Thomas Hearns. Hutchings again is still looks on very unsteady leg. Round two scheduled for 12. He's just a matter of time because Tom has experience. He knows exactly what to do when his man is hurt. He's not rushing himself, which uh, we had questioned as far as the overconfidence was concerned. He's taking his time, picking a shot, and waiting for an open where that he can put some combinations together and get Hutchings in our way. Hutchings have been unable to reach her so far. That's right, Tim. If Hutchins can land the punch, it goes. Maybe Tommy will have a little respect for him. But right now, it's all Tommy's own way. Good luck with the nose of Hutchins. Hutchins White, the champion in gold. McKenzie, the referee, second round, scheduled for 12, and it was nearly over in round one with a pair of knockdowns by the champion Hearns. Now Hutchins is bleeding from the nose, Tim. Getting a little closer to Hearns, though. Landed a couple of jabs. He's had a good solid jab and a very tough left hook, but he's been unable to get near the champion. There's a right hand landed by Hearn. Hutching, punching back. Under a minute to go in round two. Oh, and another big right hand. And another one by Hearn. Hutching to difficulty again. What's doing the most, what has done the most damage has been the left hook thrown by Thomas Hearn. Hutching's his game, though, Tim. He's winging back. He's missing, but he's winging back. He keeps reaching in. He keeps leading. He's got to get himself together. Over the 30-second mark we go. Round number two. Well, the skills we described of Hutchins have just not been demonstrated here because he was hurt in round number one and is still just trying to get himself regrouped so we haven't seen anything of what he can really do. and Hutchings is going to get through this one as well. And he lands a right hand. Round number three, the champion, Thomas Hearns. Challenger in all kinds of difficulties in the first two rounds. Two knockdowns in round one. Hutchings managed to stay up through round two, but has been unable to get close to the champion who's been in control totally. Tim, Tim, when you get nailed early like that, that's the same as a sprinter in a 100-yard dash falling down at the starting line. It's tough to get back. Once you get a bad start like that. For the Red Energy Line, we are live from Saginaw, Michigan on CBS Sports Saturday. Tommy's left jab, Tim, has been very effective, very, very consistent. In fact, there's a slight swelling on the left side of uh, Freddie Hutchinson. Hutchinson, and uh, he's, also, he's not stable. Well, his conditioning certainly uh, has enabled him to go this far because he was really banged around in round one and again in round two. And here he is still trying to regroup, regather, get back to his fight plan. It's basically a counter-punching fight plan. Tim, he has a great friend in Manoa Cruz. He's a great condition. I knew the fighter would be in great condition for the fight. All of his friends in Stockton, California, looking in, no doubt, with some concern at this point. He's a little more settled down now, though, Tim. He's not reaching as much. He thinks he has to initiate the action all the time, and he doesn't. Tommy now is going to work his left downstairs and upstairs which I feel he's going to come over with the right hand. There he tries to throw the right hand. He's trying to set his man up. Red Hutchins, 27 and 1, 17 knockouts. Turns 39 and 1 with 33 KOs. The entire family here in the tennis at ringside. Mom, brother Steve, who just won a gold medal in the Olympics. Another brother, a grandfather, four sisters, and a third of other relatives. A right hand, a right hand by Tom would be so beautiful to him because 
Freddie Hutchins, he's in position to be hit by that uh, right hand. You notice the next jab is he picks it out and drops it. And a minute to go, or at least he landed that left jab on his last try. Turns with a reach advantage. Hutchins with a one-inch height advantage. Tim, they're the same weight, but Tommy Hearns looks twice as big on his right hand. That was the right hand on the right hand by Tommy Hearns. Reaches in with that left jab and steps forward with that left foot and doesn't follow back. Tommy Hearns having some fun in there now and he hurt him with another right hand lead that time. And Hutchings again doing the right thing after being stunned. And now the, you know, one of the handlers up on the corner looked like he was trying to stop the fight from the Hutchings corner. There's a right hand by Hearns and a combination. Hutchings won't go down. A handler stepping into the ring from the Hutchings corner. Trying to get the referee to stop the fight. And Mercanti does. Hutchings handler, I believe that's Benny Casey, stepped into the ring during the action. Trying to get the referee to stop it. And Mercanti, the referee, has stopped the fight. Man was back after Roberto Duran's second round knockout, and it seemed like uh, you wanted to do the same thing here today. Were you trying to convince yourself, or just everybody watching? Well, I, tell you, I was trying to uh, get the man out of here. I knew I had the ability to do so, so I wanted to put the pressure on him. I knew that the, the first round was going to be more like a fill-out round, and then after that, I knew that I would be able to go in and work from there. After I was able to get a fill-out, I felt like the second round, I wanted to go in there and put, add more pressure and stuff, using more shots, putting shots together. There was no doubt that uh, had he been able to get through the first couple of rounds, the fight could have been different because he's a very skilled boxer, but you never gave him a chance to get started. I understand that he's a very skill, skillful boxer. My plan was to just use my, my punching power, my ability to box as well as my punching power, and put that in and combination it all together. And I knew that he would have a lot of power with it because I felt like I was a lot stronger than Fred was at the time. Well, you sure were. Let's go back at the uh, the handler case. He wanted to prevent uh, Hutchings from any further punishment. Well, we've already heard that uh, that Mugabe and Moore maybe are in your plans at 154, but I know that in everybody's mind, Marvin Hagler is the man. He's probably watching here today. What, what, what's your thought? I know Marvin Hagler is watching. I know he's watching. He's sitting back. He's just thinking now. <laughs> I mean, he's having a very hard time to even think now. It's constantly bothering him day in, day out. It's just a problem, just a cause a big problem for Marvin Hagler. He knows that his time is coming next, and the hitman will get him just like he got everybody else. You're a true champion. You were really ready for this fight. You didn't take it for granted, and you did the job. Congratulations. Tommy Hearns, WBC state champion, defending his crown for the second time. Next on Drive-In Boxing. folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.